Hello everybody, it's Friday the 4th of March, uh, weather's not too bad, a little bit overcast with cloud, brief glimpses of sunshine, temperatures somewhere in the sort of sixes, sevens, no wind particularly so it doesn't feel cold. So we're out for our walk, this is a new bit of track that we've not walked down. We. Uh, if I go back that way, we crossed this track on our last little expedition. From that way, we went across and back towards uh, the cottages. Um, what do they call them? The um, Coast Guard. Coast Guard cottages. Uh, so we went back across that way. This time we're taking this route, which is the bit longer ro road round. But of course we haven't actually walked all the way down almost to Dunwich before coming back so yeah we've walked some familiar track and now we're walking through this it's sort of like a little valley here uh, there aren't many hills so that's the biggest hill <laughs> around here uh, there's probably a sand dune actually underneath there it's a uh, very very sandy soil in this area but it's absolutely beautiful sun's coming out yeah we've just been having a conversation about pensions because um, apparently according to a report carol was reading a lot of uh, ladies who have been retired for a number of years haven't been getting the full pension that they're due, due. Some chap has worked it out and they're having to do a whole review. Uh, did you say 200,000? So, yeah. 200,000 cases um, of women who uh, didn't get the full pension. Something to do with back in the day, women didn't pay full national stamps and things like that because their husbands paid and they were supposed to get a pension with their husband and then of course it all changed and somewhere in the mix an awful lot of women many of them now passed away didn't get their full pension and uh, we're just speculating whether Carol's mum was one of those because she had a reduced pension they said it was because she was getting a war widow's pension because Carol's dad died of after many many years but as a result of uh, things that happened to him during the war the Second World War so uh, she got a war with his pension and they reduced her pension because of it um, we don't know <laughs> apparently it's gonna take years mm -hmm. to work through all the cases yeah, women that were so, before 2016. Before 2016, so that's mm. quite a long time. So yeah, that's interesting. Oh, little doggy up ahead. I'm going to stop videoing. Yeah, so I broke off there because of people coming down the path. We had to stand aside while they came by. And I don't like videoing people who don't know they're being videoed. I don't think that's fair. This is lovely through here. Yeah. Really nice. And uh, can't see many buds on the trees yet. No. They're just sort of there. That uh, all looks very twig like at the minute. But it is nice. Nice to be out in the fresh air without freezing to death. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Ain't that right, Carol? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Still got the gloves on. Yes. I haven't got the gloves on. Where's my hand? There's my hand. Because I can't switch the thing on and off without my fingers. The iPad, so. Yeah, it's, just, yeah, it's very pleasant. But they're not freezing. No, no. And the sun's coming out again, intermittently. Yeah, a little bit of, yeah, 
a little bit of hilly terrain. We're walking sort of around it, mm. I think. I'm pretty sure this track swings left and then yeah. back towards the sea. If it doesn't, um, it'll just have to turn around and walk back down it. But uh, pretty sure this is a route round. But uh, we do like walking and exploring these routes without actually reading maps because, well, you know where you're going then. It's not quite so exciting. <laughs> not that the map here is very... Not that the maps that they have around the park are very good, actually. They mostly seem to be printed upside down in my... kind of the way I think about things and look at things. So for me, they're just downright confusing. And it's not the same map on each post. They've got different maps for different areas. And they don't seem to connect up to me, in my mind. It's probably just the way my brain doesn't work. But uh, they don't make sense to you either, Carol, do they? No, not yeah. really, no. Uh, so we just know that sort of the park is behind us, the cottages are to the left of us, Dunnish is to the right of us as we walk along here. So as long as we keep that sort of directions in our head, we're all right. And we're getting to know the tracks now as we did walking around in Gloucestershire back last spring. Uh, Carol was also reading. She does a lot of uh, researching on the internet, finding things out for us. And uh, she found this morning that there, there are seven places that they're saying Brits should be able to go to in the summer. None of them are France. <laughs> they all seem to be islands. Like, what was it? Greece. Greece. Um, Which isn't an island entirely, but you know. Uh, Sardinia. Sardinia. The Balearic, Balearic Islands? Yeah, Balearic Islands. Balearic Islands. Um, oh, is it the Caribbean? Oh, the Caribbean, yes. Yeah. Sicily. Oh, Sicily, yes, yeah, see another island. Not Italy per se, no. but Sicily. So that's what they're saying at the moment. But of course, there's no official announcements on these no. things. So this track continues to go on rather than turning anywhere left. There's been no left turns for us, which is what we're looking for now. Yes, yeah, so, of course, the government will be looking at the dangers of people bringing stuff back. Uh, and countries there will be looking at the dangers of us taking stuff there. So, and France is a right pickle at the moment, it seems. They're not getting the vaccine rolled out very well. A lot of people are refusing to take the vaccines. Uh, they seem to be in a right mess they're sort of in a semi kind of kind of lockdown but that's not really doing the job yeah it's a bit of a, a pickle so we just got to hope they get themselves sorted out by June time because that's when we've got to pay for the rest of our trip down to south of France and if we can't be assured that we can actually go, we won't be paying the rest of the money, uh, which is a fairly substantial amount because we're going down there to stay for two months. That was the plan, July and August into September. So mid-July to mid-September, but at the moment that's looking a bit dodgy. That things change quite rapidly these days. Here we are. We're bending left in the right track now. There we go. So that's us and the news. And exploring a new bit of track around Dunwich Heath. God bless. 
see you all soon bye for now <laughs> so this is our first eating out <laughs> and drinking out <laughs> since before Christmas the little uh, little uh, what do you call it kiosk that's it that's the word I'm so excited I can't think of words the little kiosk is open today it's Friday um, and they've been opening on Saturdays and Sundays but we haven't been round here uh, but they're open today now they're sort of gradually extending the hours as we go into March, absolutely wonderful. So we're going to enjoy our sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs>